Like I had an opportunity to start all over again and this was going to be me, the new girl who eats poop. MJ's Cravings. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. different. As you can see, I'm not in my kitchen, I'm not in my apron, I'm just in my regular clothes. I just came from school. Uh, school has been brutal, you guys. My last year of law school has really, you know, been trying times for me. Uh, but I do have a story to tell. Hit that subscribe button. So without further ado, here's the story. Between my 10th and 11th grade year, I switched high school. The second week of school, my 11th grade year, they take us on a camping trip. They break us up into our groups and it's about like 12 people in each group and 11 people who knew one another and then there was me. And you know, it was a little intimidating. And I remember when we first got into the groups, one guy looks at me and is like, do you even go here? They kind of set the tone for this camping experience for me. But I remember it was like the last night there and we're on a night hike. They say curiosity killed the cat. Well, I died nine times very quickly. Two counselors in our group and we're walking and then they stop like dramatically and they're like they start raving about something and it gets our attention we're all like what what's going on and so when the counselor is like oh my gosh and she like points and she looks down at the ground and there's this piece of poop and she's like this might be scat from the lemon fox and we're like what the hell is a lemon fox and they make up like this super interesting story as to why they're endangered and you know they're only in Joshua Tree, the few that are left, and they they get us all hyped up like, oh my gosh, we're about to go wander into the wilderness to try to find this lemon fox. And so finally someone asked the question, well, how can we tell if it's from the lemon fox? Like, how can we tell if this is their droppings? And they're like, well, they eat this special type of berry, and it kind of tastes like raspberries. And then we're like, oh, okay, well, how will we be able to tell? Like, do we, like, smell it? Or, like, what is it? She's like, no, you have to taste it. And everybody was like... And in my mind, I was like, I really need to know if this is a lemon fox. Like, this is where my endless sense of curiosity becomes a problem. I'm like, I have to know. I absolutely 100% need to know if this is a lemon fox so I can go out into the middle of nowhere with a flashlight looking for it because that seems like the smart thing to do. That is my 16 year old mind. I'm over this in my mind, I'm like, okay, like, I want to know, I have to know. And one of the guys, like, to think like the left of me, he was like, I'll do it. Someone just has to do it with me and it can't leave the group. And I was like, I'll do it. Me and him, we get close up to the poop and we're, we've like touched it and we're like rationing off the pieces of it. And I'm like, okay, you can have this much, I'm gonna have this much and we'll be able to just like take a little piece and we'll be able to tell if it tastes like raspberries. And that's like the mission here and we're, no one here in this group is gonna let this get out. And as we're about to put this mess in our mouth, the counselor's like, stop! And we're like, what? Like, what's going on? They're just like, we just wanted to see how curious you guys were, how deep your love for science is. I was like, oh my gosh, they're trying to ruin my life. I'm about to be the new girl who ate poop <laughs> for no reason. But it wasn't really poop. It was just like a Fig Newton that they had dropped in some dirt and rubbed it around. So literally, I remember like when we first got it in our hands, the guy was like, well, it does kind of smell like berries. <laughs> when my mom picked me up on Friday, She's like, oh, how was your camping trip? And I was like, oh, I went on like rock scaling and like rock climbing. And then I went like cave diving and climbing through caves and all the other stuff, things. And I also almost ate poop. And my mom was like, you what? I was like, yeah, I almost ate poop. My mom was like really upset. She's like, my, you had an opportunity to start all over again at this high school. And this is what you choose to do. This is who you choose to be. The new girl who almost ate poop. Cause I know like I'm like 100% sure that that probably got out to people. So yeah, I was destined, I was uncool at my first high school and I was definitely destined to be uncool in my second high school. And thank you so much for tuning into MJ's Cravings. I promise you I won't, I don't have any more poop stories. So next story time will not be about that, but. And make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button if you liked this. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time on MJ's Cravings. Bye.